So it's been a few years and every single time I think about the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro, it really makes me upset. And it's not because these iPhones were bad or horrible or anything like that at all, but it was mostly because of the battery health issues that I kind of had with these specific iPhones and the fact that Apple never really addressed these specific issues. So I've never really, and I kind of break down, I've owned a couple of different iPhones in my lifetime, and I've never really experienced a majority of like widespread issues that happen. If, you know, for example, Bendgate for the iPhone 6 Plus, never really experienced that. The battery shutdowns, never really experienced that on any personal iPhone success or success plus I owned until way later in the lifespan, like three years ago. And even like the no sound issues on the iPhone 7s, other issues that kind of come screen replacements on the iPhone 10, I never really experienced any of those widespread issues on like my personal phones that I used there. But it wasn't until the iPhone 12 Pro came out that I ended up buying that I noticed a massive problem, and that was the battery health issue degrading. Now, I don't know if this was a widespread issue, but if you actually just Google the iPhone 12 battery health, you just Google iPhone 12 battery health, you will see that a lot of people commented much more than a lot of people comment nowadays about the battery health depleting very, very fast on their iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 Pro, and iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, I saw this mostly for the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro, maybe because those were the most sold iPhone 12s during that moment. But again, if you just Google that, you will see that a ton of people saw the battery health degrade a massive amount literally within the first six months, within the first year. That's basically what was going on. Now, it is very common for a lot of people to go ahead and look at the battery health, get scared when it drops down to 99 or 98% and then post it on Twitter or post it on Reddit. I see that all of the time. But if you remember with the iPhone 12s, so many people were buying those iPhones and within a you know couple of month period, within a year, that battery health was already down a massive amount. In my use case, I wasn't doing anything different than I normally did. I pretty much kept it in my house. If you remember, we were like kind of locked down during that moment. And my battery on my iPhone was pretty much not even in the heat most of the time. So it should have theoretically been in an even better situation. And that wasn't the case. And Apple never really addressed this. They never pushed out a repair program for this. I've seen them get called out for so many other things. But when it's such a widespread issue like it was here, I was surprised and I was actually very, very upset that Apple never made some sort of repair program for these types of iPhones. And, you know, when I had my iPhone 11 Pro, that thing was still like within, you know, a couple of months, I think it was like eight or nine months from the iPhone 12 Pro's release. I was already at like 94 or something like that percent. My iPhone 11 Pro that I used way more a year before that, which was way older, like twice the amount of age as the 12 Pro, was still at like 98 or 99 percent. So I think Apple definitely should have been called out for it by a lot of people. They didn't really get called out. I mean, they a lot of people were upset, but they never made a repair program, which is the most important thing. So it's very, very crazy. I think there was a very widespread issue there and it still kind of makes me upset whenever I pick up that iPhone because it's such a beautiful iPhone, but it just had such a massive issue. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Hold on.